today I'll be talking to Dr. Prashant Gowda. I would like to specifically look into some of those paranoid moments the parents have at moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically to do with something to do with learning uh, and broadly with education and something to do with school related issues. Uh, some parents might think or have already thought of uh, taking a break from school for their child or children. What are possible implications do you foresee with such kind of thinking? Uh, see, uh, the situation is such that the country had to go for a lockdown. So it was an inevitable situation. This was not the situation which everybody wanted. But uh, one thing what I would like to comment, I you know I would like to uh, uh, suggest or I would like to tell is being with a technology is an inevitable thing. You have to accept the technology. It has come now because of this situation, but it would have come anyway. So moving away from technology, thinking that it would create a problem or it would create uh, some other complication uh, is, is not a right way to handle so this is the situation where parents are paranoid that and even uh, the entire education system and institutions are worried about how to progress because this was something which was which we had not prepared which we had not thought of so now we have started thinking so this is the situation where uh, uh, you know giving an year break or two year break till the covid situation you know we do hear uh, they they do call us parents to come and ask us doctor uh, i'm not sending my kid to school is it fine so uh, there is nothing which is not fine only thing is when situation arises we have to approach in a different way we have to think a little differently that how we can carry forward even with this situation we do have situations where we run out of ventilator that doesn't stop us from saving life we try to think out of the box create something you know we, we had a situation when i was working in a government hospital during my postgraduate days we had one oxygen cylinder and there were five babies who had required uh, oxygen so if we would have thought that one oxygen cylinder is is only for one baby then we would have let other four babies die so that is not a situation we routinely see because we were over uh, loaded with cases beyond our capacity and we were uh, thrown to a, a situation where uh, uh, you know, we had to think a little differently. So the best thing what we did was we took an oxygen uh, connecting pipe. We connected a small uh, thinner five pipes inside that and we sealed it. And we gave the single oxygen cylinder till we get supply of, you know, which would take around 12 to 24 hours. And we connected to five babies. So which we routinely, we wouldn't do it. But in order to save life, in order to act to the situation and balance the situation, we did that way. So we are exactly in this situation where uh, giving a break is easy thing. Running away from problem is the most easiest thing. And uh, all the mature people and all the uh, people uh, you know, who talk about spiritual dimensions or who talk about intellectually, uh, they always say that running away from problem is easy. So this is the time as a human being with a gift of brain and thinking power we have to uh, solve the situation by thinking and by coordinating and by acting to the situation, not running away from the problem, but being with the problem and trying to solve it and continue the education system. The beauty of this is we are in the technological revolution phase of uh, humankind. So there is no way we have to think of, you know, sitting at home, not allowing them to learn or not allowing them to, uh, you know, uh, stop the education system. So you were telling me about, uh, so are you suggesting that school should still function and children should still start going to school? Still the situation resolves. Mm -hmm. uh, see, even in our uh, Indian schooling system, uh, the pattern is the kids will be dropped by parents to the school and uh, 30, 40, depending on the school strength, each section they'll go, they sit in the school, one teacher will come, they'll teach and they go the next teacher comes, teach, and they go. This is the routine things what is followed here in our Indian system. So the only uh, change what we would make because of the pandemic outbreak would be is in case if we, if we, we cannot run away from our, uh, uh, you know, uh, from teaching or letting the kids learn. So what I'm suggesting is we need to uh, continue the education system if not being at the school, we can start initiating learning from home itself.
with the technology and this is what so my suggestion at this point of time is we cannot run away from the problem we cannot uh, let our kid not learn see if you ask ourselves a question about uh, what is happening how many covid cases uh, uh, are there in india are happening in india or any new cases which are happening and any deaths which has happened so far because of the covid pandemic in spain america china we are able to tell how are we able to tell so we should ask ourselves how did we learn all this sitting at home keeping technology in our hand mm -hmm. so i would suggest yes we should think of alternate way of teaching our kids we cannot run away from the problem we have to overcome this and we have to learn a new way of uh, uh, leading a life yeah yeah um, then taking from your answer there are also some parents thinking of homeschooling yeah uh, some of it is widely practiced in west because of one of the main reason the financial constraints do you think parents here could be able to prepare themselves and do a homeschooling?